how to get a perfect score on the SAT reading section. You are on the correct path. I would like to give you some tips and tricks to get a perfect score. So let's get started then. We are going to analyze evidence-based reading. So evidence-based reading questions ask about a passage's main idea or specific details, the author's attitude about the subject, the author's logic and tactics, the implications of the discussion or the meaning of specific words. And here it is, we do have passage actually part. The following passage is far shorter. On the real task, you will have from 500 till 750 word passages you will find on your task. It is here only to give you a quick idea of the sorts of questions you will be faced with. So, some directions I would need to give you. Each passage or passage pair, as it is, is followed by questions based on its content. So, you will need to answer the questions on the basis of what is stated or implied in that passage or passage pair and in any associated information and graphics, such as tables, graphs, flowcharts, timelines, and etc. Let me read for you to have a clear vision about our questions. Certain qualities common to the sonnet should be noted. Its definite restrictions make it a challenge to the artistry of the poet and call for all technical skills and the poet's comment. The more or less set rhyme patterns occur regularly within the short space of 40 lines afford a pleasant effect on the ear of the reader and can create truly musical effects. The rigidity of the form precludes too great economy or too great prodigality of words. Emphasis is placed on exactness and perfection of expression. The brevity of the form favors concentrated expression of ideas or passion. So, the first question is, the author's primary purpose is to, here it is, the first question asks you to find the author's main idea. So, Option A, contrast different types of sonnets. Option B, criticize the limitations of the sonnet. Option C, which is correct, identify the characteristics of the sonnet. And uh, option D, explain the sonnet, loss of popularity as a literary form. Let me explain to you how I got this option. And this option is correct one. In the opening sentence, the author says certain qualities of the sonnet should be noted. In other words, he intends to call attention to certain of its characteristics, identifying them. So that's why the correct answer is choice C. You can eliminate the other answers with S. The author is a bit about the sonnet. He doesn't say that the sonnet has limitations or that it has become less popular. You can eliminate choices B and D. Similarly, actually, the author doesn't mention any different types of sonnets. Therefore, it cannot be contrasting them. And you can eliminate with is choice A as well. The second question, as used in line four, a fourth most nearly means a spare, B exaggerate, C pay for, and D provide. D is our option, correct option. So actually, the second question asks you to figure out a word's meaning from its context. Substitute each of the answer choices in the original sentence and see which word or phrase makes most sense. Some make no sense at all. The rhyme patterns that the reader hears certainly do not pay for any pleasant effect. So you can definitely eliminate choice C. What is it exactly that these rhyme patterns do? The rhyme patterns have a pleasant effect on the ear of the listener. Indeed, they provide or furnish or even supply this effect. So the correct answer is choice D. Let's go further. 
The author's attitude toward the sonnet form can be described as one of the amused toleration, actually grudging admiration, strong disapprobation, scholarly appreciation. So, the third question asks you to figure out how the author feels about the subject, right? And all of the author's comments about the sonnet are positive, like he approves of this poetic form. You can immediately eliminate choice C, strongly disapprobation or disapproval. Then you can also eliminate choice A, amused toleration or forbearance, as in our passage. The author is not simply putting up with the sonnet form in a good humor, somewhat patronizing way he thinks well of it. Choice B, grudging admiration, is somewhat harder to eliminate. Actually, the author doesn't seem to admire the sonnet form. However, his admiration is unforced. It is not grudging or reluctant. You can eliminate choice B. The only answer is that actually properly reflects the author's attitude is choice G, scholarly appreciation. So that's all for the second lesson of the SAT reading tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.